<clears throat> oh, excuse me for talking to my guest when I should be talking to you. Uh, my guest you would remember, I suppose, uh, from The Saint or uh, The Persuaders, and certainly from the Bond films and any number of other movies, and you might even remember him from his being here uh, on an earlier show. And I had such a good time talking with Roger Moore that I decided to invite him back despite his success, fame, wealth, and popularity, <laughs> and reputation as a defender of the women's movement, <laughs> Mr. Roger Moore. We have a very limited wardrobe, you notice that? Yeah, why, <laughs> why is that? We can't afford ties, we don't know Swifty Lazar. Incredible, the last time you were here. We, yes, we were talking about, uh, we last met at a party in California where I was the only person without a tie. And I always thought of California as the casual place. Yeah, well, the rest of us were wearing frocks. <laughs> and I said, no, 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 the other one. <laughs> You know, I've never heard anyone's name when I'm introduced to them, and at that party, the blur of people as I sat down, one of the, I thought they said something like Colonel Smith or something, and said, and so-and-so, and Mrs. So -and, -so. and as I sat there, I realized that the man I had thought was Colonel Smith or something was Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, he was sitting uh, Who's a there. brigadier general, I believe, in yeah. or something. Uh, wonderful stories about, we were talking last time about his being called a lump of English roast beef uh, by a reviewer, and Jimmy Stewart, one of the great successes of his career is Harvey, everybody. He got terrible reviews in it. He was telling that. Yeah, I remember that. Then he went in again and got, <laughs> he said, he'd, how dare he come back and try this again? Those things get buried in, in history. Uh, are, are the Bond movies as much fun to make as all the people who envy you making them think they are, or can even that be drudgery? Uh, well, I, I have fun when I'm working. I love, I, I, you know, I just love going to the studio or mm -hmm. going on location and feeling wanted, you know, and getting paid on Fridays yeah. and having my face painted and my hair combed and people giving me wardrobe to wear. I mean, it's all wonderful. Yeah, I know, yes, they're, they're fun to make and they are, in a sense, hard work. They're, physically, they're hard. And also, if you're Bond, you're, you're in every scene and the schedule is usually about six months, and that means every day from the crack of dawn, and we have most of it's on location, so it's a six-day week. So they're long hours. Yeah. And it takes you away from hearth and home, of course. Yeah. yeah. Don't have too much to learn, of course, because Bond doesn't say that much. Yeah. My name is Bond. <laughs> and then I have a, I also have a terrible memory. I can never remember what comes next. <laughs> Do they have uh, Brook Bond tea here? No, I don't think it's known here. Brook Bond tea? It may be important. Yeah, the PG Tips Brook Bond is well known in England. And I, I, Guy Hamilton, who was directing one of the Bond films with me, got absolutely furious in the middle of the night shooting in the cow. And I was fed up with saying James Bond. I had to keep saying this. Chinese gentleman, that my name is Bond, James Bond, trying not to sound like Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> and so I said, my name is Bond, Brooke Bond. Cut. <laughs> say it right, Roger. All right, I say it right, action. You know, my name is Bond, June Bond. <laughs> anyway, the, the Brooke Bond okay. thing, they, they, they have commercials in England made by chimpanzees from the London Zoo. I mean, not the producers or the directors, but the artists. <laughs> oh, those appearing in yeah. them are the chimpanzees. And uh, th uh, they, they, they actually lifted that. They now have them voiced in the sort of same thing. Uh, you know, my name is Bond. Brook Bond. <laughs> <laughs> you, you must get paid for that, then, as the author of that. Uh, no, unfortunately, I don't. I okay. didn't register it with the Writers Guild. Yeah. Was there any concern when you took over the part on the part of um, studios, or do they worry about this sort of thing at all, about um, the fact that the image of Sean Connery was so strong in everybody's mind as Bond? Was there any conscious effort given to either matching it in some ways, or getting away from it in others, or did they just throw the dice and hope people well, would accept it? Well, uh, well Guy Hamilton, uh, as I mentioned before, he directed the first Bond I did. Mm -hmm. And we went to lunch and, and, you know, discussing any reservations that I had or he might have. 
and he said, we will deliver it. You know, obviously, you've got to say my name is... I said, because that's the thing that wakes me up at night. I keep hearing myself saying, my name is Bond, James Bond. <laughs> and and I, I, I mustn't do that, you know, because I, I can't do any more. Mm -hmm. That's the limit of my talent as a mimic. And so he said, we will avoid things like shake and not stirred, anything that Sean did. Mm -hmm. and, and that's really the only thing that went into it. I was a little more gentle with ladies until the second one when I was allowed to break an arm or two, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Bond in the books is not that likable a character. Uh, so Slightly fascist. Yeah, yeah. Which, according to my source that I can't remember, so was Ian Fleming. Um, I think that was it, that they said that, that personally his, his political views, everything were really dreadful, hateful, mean, spirited. Right wing, down. you mean? Uh, well, uh, no, I, I don't think a right wing is synonymous. Is there with, anybody else from the Bund here? With, with, <laughs> <laughs> but that he, he was a, a, a bit of a fascist in his way. And, uh, Slightly. If I'm wrong, then. Uh, the, the, I mean, that was, but we don't that, make the films that way. That Fleming himself was a bit that way, but I, I must find my source. If anyone can help me on this, uh, please write in, <clears throat> politely. It was probably an actor who didn't get the part. <laughs> yeah, maybe, <laughs> someone they turned out. <laughs>